By the time Lazarus Chakwera was declared the winner of Malawi's presidential election rerun, many Malawians already knew from early unofficial results that he would be their next president. What they wanted to know was exactly how much he had won by. Lazarus Chakwera, the candidate who has attained 58.57% of the votes, has attained the requisite majority of electorate as appearing in the second schedule and is duly elected as president of the Republic of Malawi. A few hours before Chakwera was declared the winner, President Peter Mutarika said there had been voting irregularities, including violence and intimidation against his party election monitors. Sadly, as all minds have seen, the ele this election is the worst in Maui's history of our elections. Our monitors were beaten, hacked, abducted, and intimidated so that they should not participate in the voting observation process. In February, Malawi judiciary overturned Mutarika's victory, saying there was evidence of vote tampering. That's why Malawians voted again in a rerun of the polls last Tuesday. Analysts say the result is unprecedented on the African continent. It's not just rare, it's, it's unique in the African context. Uh, we, we've never had an election annulled and then the result to be different than what the first round, which was annulled, that result was. So this is really the court stepping in to say that the elections were not run properly and then the Electoral Commission returning a different result in the rerun. Chakwera, the president-elect, is promising to fight corruption and create jobs. After he is sworn into office, Malawi, a country of roughly 18 million people, will be watching him closely to see what kind of leader he's going to be. Harumutasa, Al Jazeera.